President Donald Trump says he is not concerned after Attorney General Jeff Sessions met with Special Counsel Robert Mueller last week. Sessions is the first known Trump cabinet member to speak with Mueller as part of the Special Counsel's Russia probe. The president heads to Switzerland tonight to participate in the World Economic Forum. WCCO's chief political reporter Pat Kessler joins us now. Pat, nice to see you. Hello, yeah, where you been? You know, a little... <laughs> hanging out Welcome in airports? Back. Just hanging yeah, out in Philly, just back. wanted to see the Liberty Bell, you know, I yeah, love, you know, I I love America, that. so there it is. <laughs> President Trump uh, said he's not worried about Attorney General Sessions' testimony. Uh, sh should he be? Well, I would be, but President Trump says, in fact, that he's done nothing wrong. He says no collusion, but look at this, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, the FBI director, the former FBI director Comey and Attorney General Sessions talking to Robert Mueller. Uh, this is remarkable. You've got two people like that who are being interviewed as possible witnesses to possible obstruction of justice. So, yeah, this is really serious. But the president, again, as I say, uh, does, doesn't believe he did anything wrong. So let it all hang out there. Be as transparent as you can, as the president says he will do. But now Robert Mueller wants to talk to President Trump about all of this. And so we'll see what the president does. He has said he'd be 100% willing to do it. But now it's, he's starting to hedge those bets. So, yeah, be concerned. This is pretty serious stuff. Well, President Trump, he did say that he was concerned about the months of missing text messages between two top-level yeah. FBI employees. He tweeted, where are the 50,000 important text messages between FBI lovers Lisa Page and Peter Strozak blaming Samsung? What's that all about? Well, a couple of things about that. First, that's not accurate. There weren't 50,000 texts between those two people in the FBI. That's for the whole FBI, the 50,000 texts that are missing. So the president is misleading when he says that. However, it's good to be skeptical about this because this whole thing is kind of strange that these two FBI agents, these two FBI employees were texting back and forth like this. But for 50,000 of them to disappear, I'd be skeptical too. And blaming Samsung, well, Samsung's coming back today saying, hey, wait a minute, this isn't our fault. This is something on your end. So I think this bears watching pretty closely. Let's go back to the government shutdown. President Trump tweeting overnight, crying Chuck Schumer finally understands, yep. especially after his humiliating defeat, that if there is no wall, there is no DACA, we must have safety and security together with a strong military for our great people. What do you well, make of that? keep the name calling going. Keep that going because that helps get an agreement in the future, doesn't it? Uh, this is something that's kind of interesting. A lot of the Democrats are turning on Democrats because, in fact, they say they sold out. Uh, so the president got the upper hand. The president, you could say, won this, quote unquote, uh, delaying this for a couple of weeks. Is this going to actually happen? Uh, the, the left wing of the Democratic Party, the MoveOn.org folks, are going after Democrats, including Minnesota's own Amy Klobuchar, who helped craft this deal, and new Democratic Senator Tina Smith. They're really upset about this, uh, the Dreamers. And so watch that fairly closely, because over the next couple of weeks, especially if there is no DACA deal with Dreamers uh, in the next couple of weeks, this thing could blow up for Democrats sure. uh, in the election year that we are over, now in. Rolled over here, yeah. All right, yep. Pat, thank you. We'll look for your reports you at 5 and 6 tonight. All righty.